God got his morning wang wang K Lo K E I E or whenever you see this video, friend. How are you vibing today? I hope all is well, no matter your vibe and frequency. Bienvenidas. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, becoming wise Galarelle, following my soul vibe. For those of you who are new, I am the rare black unicorn, a real journey in these social media streets. And my channel is an astrological tarot audio visualization. I break down the energetic effect and effect that the spiritual realms has on us, helping you have a better understanding of your haters, of your money, of your love life, of your health overall you friend via tarot and astrology specifically the moon because the moon is connected to our subconscious where we consciously subconsciously live day in and day out you know we we are reliving our past pre in the present as well as our future as they say you know it's time is an illusion it's all happening at the same time but my channel is to help you overall learn more about you by spilling an energetic detox tea so you know how to move in these energetic and spiritual streets plans bless so now that you know who i am and what my channel is about let me finish breaking bread with you all so let's have a seat babies and catch the vibes get into today's holistic astral tarot talk Okay, friend, welcome to the astro portion of our talk today. Welcome to the table. All right, this portion of the video you can use at any time. It does not just apply to the tarot um, messages that come out today in the pick a card. But today, which is, well, today's the 4th, October 4th. But as of last night, the 3rd, all the way through this Thursday the 6th, we will be working with the Aquarius waxing gibbous moon during this first quarter waxing gibbous um, energy and Capricorn going into the Aries full moon. So with that being said, the Aquarius waxing gibbous moon energy it's going to test us in regards to our boundaries in regards to our emotions. Um, to, because remember the first cap first quarter moon or well, Capricorn first quarter moon is all about we are learning how to work with our emotions from a more mental perspective, having a mental understanding of our emotions when we get triggered. You know why we feel the way we feel. What's the core issue of, that's going on, and not just flowing through life. And going through life, you know, just lollygagging, you know, all twiddle ding and stuff like that. Like, oh, I feel this. And, you know, it is what it is. No, it's deeper than that. And, and that's what energy, especially the moon, is teaching us, you know. So that way we don't keep, don't keep. So that way we um, do not continue to keep replaying the same lessons when we this energy comes up so let's break it down aquarius is known to be a masculine energy so it's going to focus have us focus on our physical experiences more so it's fixed it has a fixed um modality meaning that it's going to bring up lessons which is why i mentioned it earlier it's going to be a test of our boundaries um as far as if we are really ready to bring into fruition whatever it is your goal is whatever you want to see better within your life um you to see at a more positive and healthier perspective whatever it is in your life that you're working on and you want to see it in a more want to be healthier in that way and have a more positive outcome you know wherever our energy is going towards you know of course that's what's going to come to play physically when this full moon comes around especially in Aries because uh with this full moon because it's Aries full moon is what I mean because of the simple fact as I mentioned in my previous video to um pick a card Aries uh energy and with the full moon 
is going to be heavy masculine. So there's going to be a lot of people manifesting. What you're manifesting is all up to you, friend, you know, and your energy, I should say, if, if you're consciously um, navigating your energy the way you want it. So that way, whatever it is you want to um, make better in your life and healthier in your life, it will happen. Or at least you'll be a lot closer because now you're more aware of what's going on energetically that's surrounding you and how it's affecting you internally there and why you are doing what you're doing externally if you follow my vibe you know but like i was saying the aquarius energy is fixed energy so that's a time whenever any zodiac signs with fixed modalities come up that's just a time where we're being tested it's a time to really sit down and pay attention especially since we're in the season of fall as i mentioned in my other video um we're currently working heavily on the mental body the fall season predominantly focused on the mental body why because once you are able to navigate your emotions your thoughts your ideas and ha become balanced within your mental body then you'll be able to flow a lot better when you're emotionally triggered because now you've learned how to have a mental understanding of your emotions and when you have a mental understanding of your emotions and your you have a better ex understanding of your experiences and why you're experiencing what you're experiencing if it's a lesson to help you move forward or if it's a lesson, um, not, well, all lessons are to help you move forward. But overall, if what you're going through is helping you to move forward or if it's creating more stagnation, you know, because now you are focused on your mental body, you know, you're flowing better within your mind and so forth throughout, as they say, as above, so below, as within it is throughout, I say. So with this for the next couple of days. It's going to be a test of your boundaries. Did you set up healthy, progressive boundaries within yourself slash your situation? You know, if you're following your heart um, with this Aquarius waxing gibbous moon, it's all about if you're following your heart, your intuition, your inner wisdom, your soul's guidance, then you'll know because you'll have more, you know, ideas. If you are, you'll have more positive thoughts. You'll have clearer thoughts and so on. Um, if you're caught up in the that stagnant energy that the Aquarius moon is all about or the Aquarius energy more specifically is all about, then you'll find yourself um, connecting to more outside influences, um, more memories of people and or situations that are a part of your core contracts that you're still needing to learn from and that you're still needing to experience to refine your mental strength and endurance, you know, consciously, subconsciously, meaning that whenever something is happening, you know that, OK, I have these boundaries set in place and and therefore I'm not just going to flow with this experience and or people just because this is happening, rather it's good or 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 I don't want to say the word bad or negative, but, you know, it is what it is because everybody's experiencing something different. So you're going to view things differently. But overall, it's a lesson, regardless if it's a high vibrational lesson or a lower vibrational lesson. It's all about to make you become more conscious, more physically aware of what you're going through. And that's what the Aquarius energy during this waxing gibbous moon phase is all about, especially with this waxing gibbous. We're in the waxing gibbous moon phase but just because energy is picking up it's higher everything is vibrating higher so if you don't learn this lesson it's going to get stronger you know you're going to have a harder time breaking free from whatever it is that you're trying to overcome in your life any goals that you're trying to reach is the more you have to repeat this lesson that is being uprooted currently the harder it's going to get to release it and overcome it if you're catching my vibes so moving on um friend Overall, no matter what end of the spectrum 
or I should say the frequency you fall on at um during this time while we're in this Aquarius waxing gibbous moon because like I said everybody's going to view their experiences differently as far as if it's a good experience a bad experience um if it's going to be if you're how heavy or light you'll feel the um lesson uh it's all going to everybody's going to fall within this energy in different ways they're going to feel it different ways so no matter what frequency um you fall on or aspect you fall on at the end of the day this energy this moon and this moon face is to help us individually and collectively find our mental strength you know create peaceful healing vibes irrevocably you know hold on to your power friend hold on to your strength it's all to help you become consistent and constantly armoring yourself with the knowledge and purpose of you you know, so you can physically and energetically move forward from these lower um, heart lessons and energies and entities. So and so forth around your mental body, you know, and around you physically. That could be you you um, going through a lesson with just yourself. It could be including friends, family. It could be just learning how to utilize energy overall you know but just overall is how you flow with it that's all this energy is trying to teach you um with this aquarius waxing gibbous moon it should help you to learn how to fight back with love and kindness to yourself and for yourself by moving healthier um mentally and within your mental body, within yourself, and therefore you'll start to move flow a lot better with different experience says that you've experienced physically. Okay, so friends. So I, really quick, just so you me. can have an example of how to apply stuff. and work in with this um, Aquarius um, waxing gibbous moon phase and overall of mm, my own the waxing gibbous moon phase. And have a little um, bit of a with him understanding or, or a deeper understanding of it. I'm gonna give my like uh, uh, a story just as an example. Give use myself as um, an example. Low vibrational. So yesterday, as I mentioned, was the third, and that was the first night of the Aquarius waxing gibbous moon. And so I felt that energy. I'm not gonna lie. I felt that energy. I was having I was having a real good day, you know. And for all my parents who can. Late. Like, I, ha I have adult, five children, so my youngest is three. At the same so time, I go to pick him know, up from school, and his teacher tells me that he did not do any so, of his work that day. Um, you know, so he's pretty much been have, going to school so, you know, have, um, since school started and just sitting there. The teacher, so I got upset, the teacher, and you know, not now I didn't show it, but I got upset because it's like, okay, well, you've been here long enough where you should be adjusted. So now you're just being stubborn because he doesn't want to go to school. He doesn't want to do what he needs to do in school. So that way he can um, grow and learn, you know, everything he's supposed to go to school for. Mind you, yes, he is three. But and, these three-year-olds now, and, if you have your three-year-olds in a preschool, they're going to teach your kids and prepare them for kindergarten. And that's just so shout out to all pre back people, back everybody who has their children in Head Starts and preschools. That was it's a very smart move. You know, but anyway, moving back to my story. So. Oh, I got upset, so I was fussing at him because it's like you, you why are you not doing your work? And that bothered me because at the same time, it's like okay, well, obviously he don't want to be here, but it's for his own selfish reasons, and so and because his teacher, after watching her for a while, and so you know she's a good teacher, she's very thorough, she's very detailed, and she's passionate about her her being um, a teacher a and for her to like, work with like this feeling children so, is, is, and then and as, as well as children with special needs and things like that because it's a mixed classroom so, um, with typical children and then um children who need extra so, support so as an example, to work with as children said, period you know, is you have to have a lot of patience so i shout out to everybody who works with children or just people in general who work with the public because 
because it's not an easy job because I've done a lot with the working with the public, working with children and things like that. So it's not an easy job. But my main point is, is that I had got upset. So I did fuss at him about him needing to do his schoolwork. So but that bothered me because, hey, who wants their child to be in in an environment where they do not want to be, even though it's for his own personal reasons at the end of the day? You don't want your child just sitting there all day and not doing anything when they're supposed to be learning, you know, and the end of giving the teacher a hard time help you just learn how to. Take a step back and really sit with those emotions to get to the core, as I had mentioned earlier, because when I sat back, I had to acknowledge the fact that, OK, why am I upset? I was upset because of the fact that a my child is sitting in a classroom all day and he's giving his teacher a hard time. But I also was acknowledging that fact that. He it, this is a change for him, you know, because he's three now. So the um classroom is a new classroom is new rules. You don't necessarily get to play all day like he did before. And his other classroom, just because he was before he was at an entirely different school and he was on the pre um early head start side. And so, and that one, they still had activities and um, educational activities they had to do, but it wasn't, um, it, it's not really pushed as much as when you get onto the regular Head Start side. So even if he stayed at his old school, he still, everything he's doing at his new preschool he would still have to do at the other school. So I also, you know, have to take that in consideration because of other things. But anyway, long story short, I'm trying to, uh, uh, I had to acknowledge where he's at energetically. So that um, this Aquarius waxing gibbous moon is not only helping me to acknowledge me uh, uh, and my emotions and how I respond emotionally that will trigger my physical actions. And my mental thought process is um, how I mentally think this everything through as far as this experience specifically, but uh, as well acknowledge other the other people that are involved in the experience, which is my son and his teacher and what they are feeling and or could possibly feel as well as um, their actions and align it and then so that way I can move forward with a clearer mind and clearer plan on how to help and support him as well as his teacher and myself so that way everybody wins you know he could start doing his work in class she would have better cooperation with him which would make them both have a very a very much um progressive day and a happier day and a more fun day and then it'll also take the stress off of me because <laughs> you know as a parent you don't want to um be stressed out about your kids no matter how old they are you know it's because the first thing a parent usually do is well what are you doing <laughs> you know because you know especially when they're little kids and toddlers and stuff like that and preschoolers it's like you you got to acknowledge your child and you were the type of personality your child has, you know. So I have to take all of that in consideration because my three year old, for him to be just three, he is super stubborn. I have to admit that, you know, so I have to acknowledge his characteristics as well, you know. And this Aquarius waxing gibbous moon is helping me to learn all, not only myself better, but also acknowledge and learn the other people that's involved in it, this experience. So that way I move wiser, you know, not just um, make smarter moves, but wiser moves. So in the future, if this was to happen or, but it might come across again in a totally different experience, I already know what to do, which is to just sit back because we as grownups, we tend to experience things. And the first thing you want to do is fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. 
and we don't really 100 we we can fix it but we didn't energetically fix it because that energy is still sitting within us which is what this aquarius waxing gibbous moon is it's fixed energy it's it is uprooting old lessons that i still needed to learn or we all need to learn typically my wherever you're at and what you're experiencing in your life so with that being said that is the, the message my for today as far as the aquarius wax just moon it's purpose gibbous what it can be doing all about um, our lower heart affecting chakra, our or affecting chakra, affecting or affecting i can't really you are remember which one is which to apply but how it can affect you Definitely and like I said earlier, up. how so heavily or mild it affects you, you know, chakra, it's going to hit everyone different as far the as the energetic chakra. effect. I so do, um, not say which that was the tea on the energy for the next couple of days. So, make about so let's get into the pick of cards. AKA Once again, the timestamps are fun. down below. So I was told to switch it up this time because, you know, as I mentioned you know, in my other video, like, I'm big uh, into chakra in work. Reading, at if least you, you all know about chakras. Those are it's very important to try to keep those clear and balanced as much as possible. So that way you can flow a lot easier within as well as throughout in your pal hey power one friend welcome to your reading <laughs> okay power one friend so you pick the lower heart heart chakra pal um just to give you a little insight the lower heart chakra is where our souls sit you know um pretty much it's all about your lower emotions and just learn is where we connect also um we'll start to connect to the higher realms or our higher selves you know but overall um these are the cards that came out um the starting from the top we have the two the two body or semi sem what you call them siamese like twins um god his name is krishna then you have Artha of Kali, Dakshina Kali next to that, um, next to that, Anahata Kali. And then the next row is the Magician um, in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Pentacles next to that, the Four of Wands. And then below that, we have my self-love deck, which is Oracle deck. And with the kittens, it says that funny feeling you get when you think you're important to someone and you're not and that's facing upright and then next to that i was pulled to look take the bottom card at the bottom of the deck and it says don't give off desperate vibes it's the biggest turn off ever <laughs> i don't mean to laugh y'all these cards be cracking me up though for real because i mean I, psh, they hurt my feelings sometimes <laughs> so that's why i gotta laugh because i'm like uh who want to be desperate right right but anyway that's facing to the left as you can see and anything to when this face anything facing the left when the cards fall out that just means it's your um it's your past it's your lower self you know lessons that you need to still learn but i'm not saying that it is in your case but um well, let's get into the cards. Okay, so off the bat, friend, when it comes to if you are calling in your bag or blocking your bag, I see right now based on current energy, this is your lesson with this Aquarius waxing gibbous moon. This moon phase is definitely teaching you that um that right now the energy is saying you're blocking your bag. I'm gonna be honest and straight up because that's what friends do, friend. Um, you're blocking your bag because this musician card came out reverse and then the four of pentacles came out reverse now when it comes to money you could actually be working on something where you're trying to um create more wealth within your life or increase your income within your life but because of the ace of pentacles and per what this reading is about but I don't read just the cards on what they traditionally mean. I go beyond that. So when it comes to when the Ace of Pentacles comes out, I see energy because energy is like money. If you are in a, um, 
the first quarter moon takes us into it. I was it was downloaded to me from my higher self that the first quarter moon is all about emperor energy having and also the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is all about having an understanding of time and energy and where you're at in your life i.e. emperor energy you know because an emperor is somebody who is a leader um and because it's masculine energy uh the emperor knows has already done the inner work to understand everything that needs to be done to physically take care of what needs to be taken care of so that way they can um lead their life and not saying that you know this applies to male and female. I'm just talking about energetically. Um, the emperor represents physical, our physical world, us taking physical actions, taking leadership, physical steps, um, directing our life the way it needs to be. So as you can see with these pinnacles coming up, I look at it at like money. It's a transaction. Money is just a tool, you know, for us to obtain higher standards of living and as well as maintain um, our life as we know it currently right now. So when I look at um, the cards and because pentacles came out, you had a lot of pentacles and then the wands represent energy. It's as if right now you're not sure you're investing your energy and or money. You know, if this is, if you are, if this situation that you're in is, specifically about money but overall this is a friend your friend who is misdirecting your energy you have your this aquarius waxing waxing gibbous moon is trying to teach you your worth your value and make you more aware of of where you're directing your energy you know what you're investing in uh, because with the four of pentacles coming out reverse, that's all about not knowing your value. Um, maybe you're holding on to something that you no longer need to hold on to, i.e. it doesn't matter, you know, what that is. That's for you to figure out, friend. I'm just, this is an overall general reading to those who can relate and resonate with this, uh, pal. But, you're you're definitely needing to learn how to direct your energy more. That's what this Aquarius uh, moon phase is trying to show you. Um, once again, it starts with your mental. So that way you can set boundaries because as always, we're always surrounded by opportunity, right? Right. So with that being said, you do have the Ace of Pentacles right here. That means new beginnings. So you too have a new beginning coming to you for whatever it is you're working towards. You know, like I said, it can, you can actually be trying to increase your money. But for those of you who are looking at it in a more deeper way, this is just overall you trying to see something more fructitious something uh to come to more something more i'm hearing a word you're abundant bountiful things like that you're just trying to obtain a better uh you're in bet long story short you're investing into something or someone if we're going to break this energy down real talk um, uh, if we are, <laughs> since I'm breaking this energy down real talk, you're definitely investing into something or someone just like money where you're trying to make a profit. You know, you're trying to make a profit. You know, you're trying to see something abundant come from you trying to be abundant with this. But because you're still going through a lesson of finding um, figuring out yourself and stuff, you're, you're investing it, your energy or, or actually money into something or someone who, as the kitten say, you know, you thought you were important, but you're not. And so you're giving off the vibes that of desperation because whatever this situ experience is showing you right now, I'm seeing someone who's going through an experience where you've been given a lot of energy to something and you want 
you want to uh, you want to see it through. That's what I'm hearing. I've seen you want to see it through. You want to see it work out. And you do have the um, opportunity to do that. But it might not be per se this person and or situation. That's determined of you, friend. Um, I can't tell you, you know, what to do. You know, I'm just here to give you the advice that you need. So that way, you know how to move forward in a more wiser way, you know. So with that being said, um, you definitely have a opportunity to gain the bag, get to your bag. But first, you need to learn the uh, the lessons that this Aquarius waxing gibbous moon is teaching you, which is learning your worth and learning your value and really sitting down with yourself and evaluating this experience that you're currently in and asking yourself, um, is it worth it? it? You know, is my energy being reflected back to me in the way that I wanted to? Because remember, we are the creators of our own life. Whatever experience you're going through, no matter how high or low vibrational it is, it's a reflection of something that's in within you. You know, some aspect of you, of your mental body, of your emotional body, you know. So this is... um. Sorry, you're blocking your bag, <laughs> you know. Um, I don't I don't mean to laugh like like haha. It's just I don't like giving bad news because <laughs> who wants that? But right now you're in the energy of blocking your bag. Um, but you definitely can turn around as long as you sit down with this energy, with the energy that's surrounding us, and to learn the lesson that you need to learn at this time. So let's get into the cards that um that we came out as far as my Kali Ma. So we have Krishna, the double headed uh Siamese twin. I love this because this remind me of yin yang energy, but it's two masculines. So it's showing uh to me uh I, I heard Aries full moon. So to me it's a lot of masculine energy going on. Uh because I see a lot in the red and the four of pentacles. And, and then just the fact the four of pinnacles, I mean, the pinnacles is a lot of more pinnacle cards that came out than anything else. So that tells me that you're definitely focused on the physical, uh, things and energy right now, surrounding energy wants you to start setting healthier boundaries mentally to realize that, you know, once again, you are worth whatever it is you seek. It just not might not be with within that person and or experience that you're currently in, friend. You know, but once again, you are the one that deter has to determine that. Um, you are the one that decides that. You know, I'm just here to give you the message because <laughs> that's what friends do. I can't do nothing else but tell you what's going on, friend. So anyway. Back to uh, the Oracle card. So the first one with the Siamese twin uh, God, the Krishna, it says your uh, message is you can have what you need and desire. You have what you need and desire, but you must be prepared to enter into the sacred fire to make the appropriate offering shift from focusing on what isn't working <laughs> To handle handing over all concerns as a prayer offering to the divine. All can then be resolved and shall manifest according to loving and generous grace. The next one, Artha, it says you are forging your authentic path in support of that. You shall attract great blessings that will benefit all things, beings to live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing trust in what you were born to accomplish that's a message um dakshina is she appears fierce and yet she is benign. Her oracle brings the message that a situation which may frighten or intimidate you is well within your capacity to handle. No matter how dramatic or intense a situation may appear to be at this time, it will eventually be little more than a passing memory. 
and not have any negative bearing upon your future. Um, Anahata is saying your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has taken place in your life. Your heart wisdom and empowerment oops, sorry, <laughs> is growing and soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something significant to your soul journey. Trust in the invisible workings of divine soul in your life. Let your heart be at peace as it guides you onward. And I'm being told not to say nothing else. It's now it's your turn to just sit with those messages, friend, and really think about what your move is. So that way your next move be your best move as far as flipping this energy around. So that way you could call in the bag. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's in regards to actual money but just your ta a tangible blessing meaning something you can actually feel or um emotionally that'll make you happy um as well as possibly physically you know it's up to your discernment that's what my channel is about i'm not going to sit here in front like okay you should do this and no i don't know your i don't know your um life path you know only and shoot we all learn and trying to learn our life path. So therefore, take these messages and um, definitely, definitely, definitely sit with them. Um, so that way you can switch this energy around because you, you are able to do that. You know, you are valuable enough. Whatever it is you are wanting and that you're um, having doubts in or, or there's something or someone that is saying, hey, you know, you can't have this, you know, think about, okay, maybe I can't have it with this person and or this within this type of environment, but you can definitely get it. So it's up to you on what you want to do next. But just know that right now, you know, can you see this? It's blurry. You know, right now your lesson is to not give off desperate vibes because energetically that's a turn off and energy don't know what exactly they you're doing physically. They just know how you feel and your thought processes because they're linked together. Venus energy is all linked together. So overall, it's all about you learning your worth, your value, and then you showing up and showing out because as I mentioned, Capricorn, um, Capricorn first quarter moon is all about our confidence. Uh, oh no, the Aries. Aries full moon is all about, okay, are we showing up confident or are we going to show up lack of confidence? Because whatever you energetically are, however you are energetically showing up, that's what's going to come into fruition. So if you keep investing in something that's showing you that, um, Either consciously or subconsciously, mildly or very heavily, you know, that's what conscious, subconscious mean. You know that um that this is not where it's at, then make a move, you know, it's up to you what your next move will be. And then whatever happens is what happens, you know, so really think about it. All right. But that's all I have for you, my power one friends, my lower heart chakra friends. That was your message for today in regards to get into the bag or blocking the bag. Um, thank you for letting me be your connect to the astral realms and your vibe. Don't forget to ring my notification bell. Smash that friend button, a.k.a. subscribe button, friend. And make sure to choose the all option from the bell drop down menu. So the next time I call to spill that energetic tea, you won't miss my call, baby. Remember to tell yourself, friend, that I am irrefutable. BKA, I am impossible to deny. Remember to be patient with yourself. Love on yourself um, unconditionally. Because whatever you mentally think and you back it up emotionally and physically, that's what you create. As well as we remember, we made low and high vibrational soul contracts before we incarnated onto this into this world, aka was born. Um, you know, but it's all to help us realign with ourselves energetically, meaning our higher selves. So make sure you strive harder than you ever did before, friend. Moving forward to be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself and maintain your inner peace and self love because that's a definite must nowadays because we're all here to figure out what's really going on individually and collectively 
as um as far as our soul's vibrations and this world and all ashe so stay blessed up friend i'll see you on the next video or in the ethers peace love and bliss bye hey pal two friends welcome to your reading this look weird okay anyway Okay, pile two friends, you picked my throat chakra pile. Um, if you do not know anything about your throat chakra, please, please, please go look it up so you can have a better understanding of the vibes you're giving off right now. Also, as well as um, just knowing more about that chakra so you know how to work with that energy within you better and how to clear it. Bless. But, friend, I... Your energy, all I can say is you a goat. You is a goat right now. You are a beat. You, you killing it. And I'm so excited for you. Your throat chakra is definitely cleared. <laughs> you are definitely getting to the bag. Your energy is like, it's beautiful and stuff. You are so in, in alignment with surrounding energy. Um, as we discussed in the astro talk, right now we are in the seasons of lessons. We, I mean, every day is a season of lessons, but today is the lessons to test, testing of the lessons. Like it's the pop quiz with the Aquarius waxing gibbous moon being in play until this Thursday, which is the sixth. Yes, the sixth, because today is the fifth. So tomorrow. So with that being said, let's get into your cards, friend. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So as you can see at the top right, no, left, we have the goddess Bahavin Vatarini. Anyway, that, that's the goddess, the darker goddess, darker blue goddess, and it's just her. Next to her, which is like, it's like her but she split in half. And I love this card. This is Dharma of Kali. This is from my Kali, my Oracle deck. Now, let me tell you what I see when I see this card. I see someone who rose like a phoenix, like rose from the ashes. Um, especially with the, in the middle is my self love deck. And with the self love deck, um, you see in, in red is a little girl. A little beautiful black girl. <laughs> but it says on that card, you know when it's time to let go. And then next to that is, um, I was pulled to take the card at the bottom of my self-love deck. And you see it's a black rose with water on it. And it says, please look before you leap into a relationship. You might leap and, excuse my language, but it's what the card says, fucking fall. Bless. Man, yes, I had to say it with that in the F, yes, because it's real like that sometimes, right, right, so friends, um, then you have the star card on the bottom left, and then next to that is the empress card, let me tell you what's going on with you, baby, it's so beautiful, okay, so this is why I said rising from the ashes, I see a phoenix, I see this right now, you are definitely an empress energy you are creating and you are rising it's like your energy right now is increasing and you're learning how to stay in alignment within yourself with yourself as well as surrounding energy meaning whatever you're going through right now i see whatever you're working towards friend it's it's a go it's a green you you got you're clearing all your pathways you're putting in the work um, rather you realize it or not, you're definitely doing the energetic inner work, you know, um, because of the simple fact, a, the star card came out. The star card is all about, I love the star card because it's, when I see the star card, it's all about balancing. Um, you have the sky because uh, star card duh and then you have her pouring water into a lake and then you also see her pouring water in onto the ground so when i see this what i see is someone who is having a mental understanding of your emotions you're knowing yes one second for you Sorry, that was my three-year-old that I was talking about. He wanted to come in and show me a silly face. But anyway, 
like I was saying, friend, I'm seeing somebody who is starting to understand um, that that when they are emotionally triggered in a low vibrational way to not flow with that, you know, especially with the goddess Dharma of Kali at the top right of your spread that um I hope I'm pointing the right direction, but that coming out because when I see that, I think of yin yang energy, but it's more so of yin yang or yin yin energy as far as divine feminine and divine feminine. I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay. Our feminine energy, like, I mean, we, yin yang is masculine and feminine energy, right? Right. But our masculine energy has a darker side as well as our feminine energy. And this card, Dharma of Kali at the top, right? That to me reminds me of darker feminine energy and lighter feminine energy, you know, because of the simple fact, the darker side, you see, it's a bull, it's skulls, it's protection. And that's what darker energy is about. That's what feminine energy about is about overall. It's for us to dig deep within ourselves so we learn how to protect ourselves better. So whenever some BS come around, we don't fall for the be bullish and the fuckery. You know what I'm saying, friend? And then the lighter side is the ha is the happier side, you know, just because they did the inner work. So I'm seeing somebody, like I said, the um cars in the middle is my self-love deck. And then with the little um girl on it, bow down like a ballerina, it says, know when it's time to let go for good. And with that being said, that's facing also to that's facing the left. And the left is representative of the south node, your past, your lessons, things like that. And then the card next to it at the bottom of the deck is a black rose. And it says, please don't look before you leap into a relationship. You might leap and effing fall. So I see someone, you, my friend, that resonate with this pal. You are learning to express yourself by paying attention to yourself. You know, you're being, um, you're, I see someone standing up for what they feel to be true to them. You know, as far as how you want to get to the bag, however, the, whatever the bag means to you, you know, um, I do play on words. So I'm not speaking technically of, um, of money specifically because in my it, the way I look at the cars and and um energy overall everything symbolizes something money and when it comes to tarot just means anything of tangible um that's tangible blessings you know so with that being said you know you might not be per se exactly going for like let's say a better career like something that will increase your finances and things like that or um but it could be just as i mentioned did i mention it in this group or did i mention in the astral talk i think i mentioned it in the last group excuse me in the one pile in the pile but when i say money that could be anything as far as um tangible blessings you know just like the pinnacle cards what they represent anything of tangible blessings you know meaning it could be something energetic where you just feel it you know it just uplifts you is you could be doing inner work and it's just uplifting you as well as you could actually be getting some money in some type of way you but i see you're doing the work and so, and you're creating positivity around you. Why? Because you're moving wiser mentally. You know, you're moving wiser mentally because you're learning when to let go of things that are hindering you, things that are blocking you. And you're learning that before you make your next move to think about it. You are definitely making sure that your next move is your best move and not just your best move, but your wisest move, especially with this black, um, Rose coming out because roses means eternal love. Black, of course, 
as we always know, <laughs> like I used to say in my videos, um, in my previous videos, welcome black, black is for expansion, you know, and so you're definitely expanding on how to love yourself better. So with that being said, friend, um, I'm going to say you definitely get into the bag, whatever it is you're creating. Like I said, if your, your, your goal right now is the fact that you are looking to, um, become healthier, you know, um, if you are looking to get a job, if you are looking to, um, better get in a better relationship, uh, with yourself or with somebody else, then it's coming to fruition with this Aries moon, moon that's coming up. Let's read the cards. So, um, the first card, Bahava Chirini. It says, when momentum is building and you don't know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, Kali brings grace and freedom from negative patterning and stubborn mindsets resistant to change. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and healing practices. She will support the work and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentled. You shall emerge unharmed. And then next to her, as I said, is Dharma Akali. And her message is your most abundant successes manifest when you are aligned with your integrity. You do not need to put your faith in pathways or projects that do not resonate with your deeper spiritual knowing. Everything that is happening in your life it's part of how your prayers are being answered. A new order is to be established. You are being led into it. Yeah. So you're definitely following your inner knowledge, your inner wisdom, your inner voice. Um, right now, like I said, you're definitely working. This is the season of working on our mental body, our mental health. So that way, um, everything that we want to see that's good and positive, it does happen. Because once again, everything starts within your mind. Um, how you feel starts with your thoughts, um, and your thought patterns and so forth. And you're putting in the work, my friend. You are definitely aware that you are, if you do not know, you know now that you are in Empress energy and you are utilizing your energy to create more positivity as far our goes instead of negativity is what I mean. Sorry, I'm hearing my kids and it's throwing me off. I'm like, what are they doing out there? But yeah, so friend, keep doing what you're doing. Definitely continue to sit with this Aquarius wax and give its moon because once again, whatever is going to come into fruition um, with this Aries uh, full moon this upcoming Sunday, it's going to be huge because there is so much masculine energy surrounding that moon and it's a, and then so much fire it's it's going to be powerful so whatever happened it's going to happen rather good or or not and it's going to be strong it's going to definitely have i feel a big impact on a lot of people especially with um a few of the retrogrades still going on so it's going to be a lot of people either learning their lessons and having a lot of abundance coming or or they might have some um to redo their lessons and it's going to be a little bit harder. Bless. I uh, um sending sending support to them because it's not easy. I know. I've been I have to we all have to learn lessons. But you keep doing you friend. Um just know that you are definitely creating in creative mode. Your divine feminine energy, your creative energy is on an all-time high, especially with this Empress and Star card being in play. And you doing the damn thing. So keep doing you. That's all I have for you today, friend. My pile to throw chakra friend. Thank you for letting me be your connect and to the astro realms and your vibe. Don't forget to ring my notification bell. Smash that friend button, aka subscribe button, and make sure to choose the all option from the bell drop down menu so that the next time I can come to spill that energetic tea, you don't miss my cause, baby. Remember to tell yourself I am irrefutable, BKA, I'm impossible to deny. Remember to be patient with yourself and love yourself unconditionally, friend, because whatever you mentally think, and you back up emotionally and physically, if that's what you're creating, you know. Also, 
remember that we made high and low vibrational karmic contracts before we incarnated, aka was born into this world. And it's all to help us realign with ourselves energetically or our higher selves, I should say. So make sure you strive harder moving forward. If you're not doing it already, and if you do up it up a notch, of course, because we got to get to the bed, <laughs> we got to keep vibing high, but strive, make sure you continue to strive hard to um, be patient with yourself, maintain your inner peace, and of course, strengthen your self-love. It, because as I always say, that's a must with this time and age that we're in right now. At the end of the day, because we're all trying to figure out what's really going on <laughs> for real, you know, out here in these energetic and physical streets, individually and collectively, because that's our soul's missions, you know, to figure out the soul's vibration and how it all works with everything else, you know. But um, that's all I have for you. Stay blessed up, friend. And I'll see you in the next video or in the astral realms. Peace, love, and bliss. Bye. Hey, pal three friends. Welcome to your reading. So you picked a higher heart chakra, pal. Okay, friends. Let me tell you about your energy right now. Friend. You are definitely doing the work. You are definitely in alignment, not only with surrounding energy, but within yourself. Um, I say this because as you can see, the star card came out upright. The high priestess card came out upright. The tower card came out reverse. Then you have the four of cups. Um, in the middle is my self love oracle deck, the grayish card. It's in reverse, as you can see, and it says you keep going through the same test because you because you're not passing it, but it's in reverse. So that's a good thing. Another thing is um upright. It can uh, the little girl that's bowed like a ballerina. I don't know what you call that stance, but you know it says know when it's time to let go for good. Then um the bottom row is my Kalima Oracle decks. Uh, cards and then we have the two of cups and then the ten of swords whoa powerful powerful energy i just want to say just like my other pal i'm not gonna name that pal you might know if you would pull to read look at um a more than one pile, but um, just like that pile, your energy, you a goat, you a beast, you doing it. You are so in alignment right now, and you killing it in the inner work game. Bless, 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 bless. Okay, so prop friend, what I'm seeing right now is you are currently tapping into your higher self. Most definitely you are in alignment, not only within your lower self, but your higher self and you are transcending. You are definitely calling in the bag, whatever your money goals are, you know, um, whatever it is, you know, it could be you getting a new job. It could be you, um, starting a new career, whatever it is that your, your goals is as far as finances. If it does not happen with this Aries full moon, you are definitely in alignment to make it happen. Um, I keep hearing the word soon, soon, soon. So, um, I don't want to put no time frame on it because what we consider soon definitely is not soon in the ethers, you know, because that's a timeless realm. They go based off your energy and your, your energy is vibing definitely very high, very, very high because you are working within your emotional body while we're working it while in your mental body at the same time, you are definitely utilizing your Venus energy. Whatever your Venus placement is, you are utilizing it, baby. I will say that. Um, you had a star card right here next to the high priestess. That to me is telling me that you are tapping in, especially with the tower card coming out reverse. That's someone who typically your friend, you probably was someone who typically, um, What's the type, what, what they say, what's the saying? Oh, when it rains, it pours. There's always something happening. You know, 
you are always looking at the negatives of life or of life that or things and stuff or people and as well as within yourself and then that's caused you to miss out on opportunities but now whatever you're doing keep doing it because right now i see someone who is learning how to see past those illusions take those towers and those experiences and, and all the people that's included in, you know, that was included in those lower vibrational karmic lessons and use finding your peace, finding your balance, especially with the star card coming out. You're on a rise, you know, um, what you're doing is definitely being seen and noticed in the energetic realms, in the ethers, um, with the God of your understanding, especially since the this card came out in reverse. You keep going through the same test because you're not passing it. But it came out in reverse. Why? Because you know when to let go now. You're letting things go, especially with the two of cups coming out upright, friend. That's all about you having those inner talks. I always look at the two of cups very much like I look at the lover's card. It's all about being in balance within your emotional body and but also um, your mental body. So you're e acknowledging your emotions, no matter if they're lower vibrational emotions or higher vibrational remote emotions right now. And that's why you're able to call in the bag because you're doing the inner work. Now, if you see yourself, um, if you're like, if you, if you've been called to this reading and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. Notice, then it's your higher self telling you this is what you need to do. So that way you can keep calling in the bag and or calling in the bag. So if this is something you have not started to do, it's your higher self asking you to start doing that. So that way you can start seeing your blessings coming in. Um, this could be a future message for you, you know, because when it comes to energy, as I always know, know and we are as it's always said, I know, and I know you know, friend, that time is an illusion. We always are living our past, present, and future all at the same time. It's all simultaneous because in the cosmos, in the ethers, in heaven, in the underworlds, they don't know nothing but energy. So whatever energy you transmit out is what they know, you know. So if you're showing... um like if this card came out and it, and you didn't have it and a high priestess and a star card didn't come out as well as with this card coming out, you know, friend, then that would mean you're vibing low. You're stuck in your um in the lessons <clears throat> that the Aquarius waxing moon is trying to teach you. Because as I said, right now we're in the Aquarius waxing moon is in play until tomorrow. Yeah, because today Wednesday. So until tomorrow, the 6th. And so with that being said, where our lessons is, is, is with this Aries, um, full moon that's coming up. It's all about, are we confident enough? Are we being fair to ourselves and are we confident in what it is we want to see? You know, do you believe in yourself? That's what the Capricorn first quarter moon was all about. Do you believe in, in yourself? And then the only way to do that was with through the Virgo new moon that we just had last month or yeah, last month at the end, the 25th, I think it was. It was all about clearing out all that mental muck and stuff, purifying your mental body, purifying your mind. So that way you could start getting in balance with your mental body because we are in the season of fall slash autumn, whatever you want to call it, you know? So with that being said, it's all with, it's, the fall is all about working on your mental body because you cannot do anything until you are balanced within yourself as far as your thoughts, how you, your thought processes your, and stuff, how you think, because that determines your feelings and it determines your, um, your emotion. I mean, feelings, emotions and your actions. It's all co go hand in hand. So this season is all about clearing out your mental body, working on your mental body. So that way, when wintertime comes around, you will then you work on your emotional body and then you'll you could rebirth yourself in springtime could, with new you, you know, and then by summertime, everything not saying that it'll take that long for stuff to fall in place, but as you 
as we go through the seasons um, every year, every month, every season, every day means something and you keep you it's easier to call in good ish you know than it is bad -ish. but you're doing it right now friend you are most definitely doing it um let's read your co the kali my card so right here you have muksha of kali it says relief shall come swiftly soon you will see things differently you are going to be liberated from the struggle you are currently experiencing be true to yourself and your life path and you will attract the way forward. You will overcome all opposition, be released into improved circumstances, and be supported to bring your sacred path to fruition. So, yeah, it's coming. Like I said, I kept hearing the word soon, soon, soon. You know, shoot, if it don't happen by this full moon, it's going to happen. I just heard within a month. You know, but it's always determined on you because when you look at other tarot readings regardless of what it is and you're looking for some type of confirmation it's and stuff i'm gonna tell you my story i used to always hear stuff like oh it's gonna happen you know within this time frame and that time frame and then i get really excited and then when that time came and gone it was like well what the f happened they said it was gonna happen at this time let me tell you something we can only read, even if it's a personal reading, everything is determined upon your current energy. Yes, you, we, you, anybody could, I mean, as far as a tarot reader, any tarot reader can tell you, oh, yes, this can come in at this time and this, or that time. But at the end of the day, it's all up to you because you, it's, we're all supposed to be doing the inner work. One second, friend. All right, I'm back. So, yes, friend, it's coming. Your money bag is coming. Whatever it is that you're working on to increase your finances, make you more financially stable, it's coming. Why? Because you're doing inner work and you're learning how to let things go that does not serve you. You're learning how to move forward. You're not with the shenanigans anymore. You're not up here trying to get played anymore. Mentally mind fucked. Excuse me, my kids are around. You're not with it emotionally fucked ain't nor therefore physically but you ain't letting nobody fuck you around anymore so okay moving on now this is um Chinam chinamasta it says in order to grow the soul may need to separate itself from that which it once relied upon oppression will be overcome do not cling to what has been what did i say you was doing bad come on now friend Okay, sometimes the best way to heal from the past is to cut it off completely and focus on inner regeneration and reorientation toward a more fulfilling future. You shall know more true love and freedom. And then the last order quote card from Kali Ma, it says, this is from um, Shamashana Kali. It says, life as you have known it will change radically and this can be a welcome release. Kali is not quiet and subdued in the cremation grounds. She is wild and vital. Kali brings energy and aliveness to situations where there would be otherwise be none. She brings an end to stagnation that has been depleting your life force. So yeah, friend. You ain't with the ish anymore. For real, for real. That's what I see. You are learning from your lessons, the people and situations within your life that created challenges and obstacles and stuff. You are learning it and you are not letting it block you from doing whatever it is that you want, regardless even if you're if you're not going for something financial. At the end of the day, as far as financial lessons, monies per se. Um, and anything related and associated and affiliated to at the end of the day, you're going for something to see yourself, uh, be more fulfilled in some type of way, some type of tangible blessing. You know, that could be something that you just, you're, you just doing the inner work and you've actually seeing the results in your actions. You know what I'm saying? In, um, your mannerisms, in your characteristics, you're not looking at life the same anymore. You're, um, 
able to see life on a more, much more deeper level, on a solar level, and you're tapping into your inner truth of what is and what isn't, and you're no longer letting things um repeat itself as far as lessons and stuff. Why? Because you're learning how to let things go. You're cutting things off. You know, you're separating yourself and you're bringing more balance to your emotional body. And you're not just reacting out here in these streets and physically, you know, and emotionally. You're starting to think more about, OK, why is this happening to me? And so this is why we, and, and better things are coming. Because I forgot to go over this card. Because the ten of swords, I was pulled to flip the deck over and look at the bottom, the card at the bottom of the deck. Ten of swords. Ten of swords is all about um, problems and issues coming to an end. Why? Because you're you're learning to have a mental understanding of your emotions and getting to the core of it. As I spoke of. In, in the astro talk portion of the video with the Aquarius waxing gibbous moon and the lessons. That's what the Aquarius waxing gibbous moon is all about. You I know, you okay, babe, give me one second. So that's all I have for you, friend. Give me one second, please. Okay, friends, so I'm back. So that's all I have for you as far as your reading. I want to thank you for letting me be your connect. To the Astro Realms and your vibe. Don't forget to ring my notification bell. Smash that friend button. AKA subscribe button friend. And make sure to choose the all option from the bell drop down menu. So the next time I call to spill that energetic tea. You won't miss my calls babe. Remember to tell yourself friend. I am irrefutable. I am impossible to deny. Impossible skills me to deny. Remember to be, be be patient with yourself. Slow down, girl, because I'm stuttering. Stumbling over my words. Be patient with yourself, friend. Love yourself unconditionally because um, whatever we mentally think um, and back it up emotionally and physically is what we create. As well as remember that we made low and high vibrational contracts before we incarnated, aka was born, to help us realign with ourselves energetically. Not just in our lower selves, but our higher selves as well. So it is a must that we be patient with ourselves, maintain our inner peace and our self-love. So strive harder than you ever done before moving forward because we're all here to figure out... um what's really going on per our individual and solar contracts bless so stay blessed up friend and i will see you in either the astro realms or the next video peace love and bliss bye